But of course, I don't think that's the best we can do. Uh, so, for the last part, I would like to invite you to a bit imagine a possible future of what we could do with mobile, smart mobile devices and mobile. Uh, the first very obvious thing, and I was really surprised um, about not finding anything like that, is using, um, including geo geolocation in Moodle. That means adding a layer of um, location information to Moodle content. So let's say you're at Moodle conference and you decide to write a blog post about how much fun you're having, uh, and you post it to a Moodle site, and your cell phone can automatically attach your location to that. Um, so if you take your stu students outside on a field trip to, I don't know, Slovenia, um, they can all, you know, take pictures, different locations, create text, and then in the Moodle you could have a map that would aggregate content by location. So, you know, you could explore what pictures did we take in Ljubljana, what pictures did we take in Popper. Um, you can imagine this being some sort of location wiki. You know, we, co we create content together uh, and it is categorized by location. Of course, you know, this could also be used within a city um, or, you know, the museum, zoo, anything like that. Um, another interesting thing is also augmented reality. Uh, augmented reality is actually relatively simple to explain. It's actually, actually taking the real world and putting a layer of digital information on top. Uh, this kind of things work on um, advanced smartphones and what you do is basically just, you know, go through the real world with a camera and it can display information. So, um, for example, if I had a really advanced augmented reality app, I could go with my camera through this classroom and your names would appear at top of your heads, you know, I had face recognition. So, um, there are some pretty interesting things that could be done with augmented reality. Uh, and there is even an open source project that has um, augmented reality browser. So, what I think could be done is to uh, connect Moodle with these kind of applications. So, you could include, you know, um, geolocation uh, from Moodle and add them to an augmented reality browser. So when, you, when your students went around the city and, um, you know, with your cameras and suddenly uh, when they, you know, um, pass by an historical building, um, that information would pop up on their mobile phones and they could have the option, you know, to take a quiz test their knowledge, because that's something that you've talked about in class a few days ago. Uh, and of course, if that's connected to Moodle, we can have a lot of fun things and um, also help us with grading uh, and all that. And the last thing I would like to kind of show you is um, a future of interactive resources. So here is a video of an electronic book that was done for Apple's iPads. So this is the, their new tablet computer. And you can see this person is interacting with the content just by you know, doing different things to the device. Either moving it, shaking it, turning around, interacting with their fingers. Now, can you imagine your textbooks, your boring textbooks printed on glossy paper looking like this? You know, having interactive video, students being able to interact with everything, zoom in into pictures with, just with their fingers. Can you imagine that? How cool would that be? So, um, actually, what's my dream is, you know, now we have all these cool standards like SCORM and we can create uh, e-content, but my dream is that someday we'd have a standard that would enable us to create these kind of things that could play on mobile devices. So, I don't know, when you create a quiz on Moodle, uh, why not define, you know, um, right now when you have to answer, you have to check a certain box, input something. Why not say that you can answer by shaking your phone? You know, you have a quiz, a certain text plays out, and you have to shake your phone whenever something wrong appears on screen. So, you know, shake when something wrong goes on. Um, this kind of things or, you know, just making more interactive resources. Um, so that's my 
dream for the future of Moodle because I do believe that um, you know mobile devices are getting smarter and you know even though most of the students have simple phones like this one in their pockets, uh, I think that in a few years we'll um, most of us will have smart devices, touch enabled and with different motion sensors, we'll shake them, pet them and have a really great relationship with them. So I do hope we get some real education onto them as well. So um, I'd like to end this presentation with an invitation to imagine a future that, of a Moodle that isn't stuck in classrooms or in homes on these old computers, but a Moodle that you can take out on any mobile device and that can interact with the real world, the real environment. So this is an invitation. Um, you might not have an answer right now, um, but I invite you to explore this world and you know, start thinking about um, maybe how to use mobile phones with your students, start trying different things, because these are computers that your students, all of your students have, and they can go to the internet. So thank you, and if there are any questions, I'll be glad to answer.